Welcome friends, today we're gonna talk about video game etiquette. For if you're going over to a friend's house, or if you're just playing with your little brother, there are some proper manners that we always respect. Okay, so the first one is the most important. You win, you go again. That's the way it was, is, and always will be. If we're all sharing a one-player game, that's how we do it. No exceptions. And it doesn't matter how many people we got in the group, your turn doesn't end until you die. And if you want to play more, then you need to get good. Also, whoever's game it is always goes first. It's their game, they get to go first. And the rest of us are just happy to be here. If you're playing a multiplayer game, then it's loser out. Losers always swap, and the winners always stay in. And whoever's game it is always reserves the right to stay in if they want to. It's their game, they get to decide who plays. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about shotgun rules. Whoever calls it first gets it. Whether that's calling characters, or items, or a specific controller, or even going first. Unless it's not your game, because then you're just looking for trouble. Okay, so the next thing is to always sit in your own spot. Now, after everybody gets settled in, we establish a dynamic, and everyone always knows where everybody else sits. And we always sit in the same spots every time. Okay, so the next thing is to always bring your own controller. If you can, of course. Because if you don't, then you're gonna have to play with that one that's been thrown around and chewed on. And since we're already talking about controllers, don't touch controllers with food on your hands. If you brought your own controller, you can get away with that, but you're still a heathen. However, if you want to be a sophisticated gentleman, and still enjoy a snack while you play, you just don't ever touch the food with your hands. Hold the plate up to your mouth and eat it like a dog. Or drink your chips directly from the bag as you do like a proper gentleman should. Because greasy controllers are the absolute worst. That stuff just stays on there forever. It becomes a part of the plastic, like cooking on a cast iron skillet. And it never really ever seems to wipe off. Okay, so don't grease the controllers, but also don't pull on the cords. Never, ever, not never. Always leave at least a little slack on the controller cords. Because if you pull on that cord, and it moves the system even a little bit, you'll ruin everything for everyone. Game consoles are also sensitive, especially the older ones. So don't ever try to move it, or even touch it while it's on. And also, don't remove or insert a game while it's on either. That's a good way to corrupt or lose a save file. And while we're talking about saves, remember to always save twice, just to make sure you got it. And if you're playing on someone else's game, don't save over their files. Start a new one if you can, or just don't save at all. And always keep your discs in a case. I know what a lot of you do with your discs, and it's very misbehaved. Okay, so the next thing should be obvious, but there's always that one guy who doesn't get it. But don't ever walk over the cords or in front of the screen. And when someone does, no Johns. That means no excuses. Never, ever, not never. What happens has already happened, and you can't ever take it back. So be a good sport and just run with it. And on that note of being a good sport, you can't beat your friends every time, or they won't want to play with you anymore. The psychology on this is that if someone doesn't win at least 30% of the time, then they'll quit playing. So it's okay to sandbag a little, and maybe throw a game here or there. Whenever it's just playing with friends, not every match has to be played at its full intensity. Or just play a different game with them if it's really that one-sided. I prefer to play cooperative games with friends that aren't into competition like that. Also, smack talk is allowed, but only if it's funny, because otherwise it's just mean. If you're gonna make a joke at someone else's expense, it better be funny or else you're just a jerk. 
and be a good sport when it's your turn to be the joke.